Hello, this is Alex, and I'm going to be showcasing the fast-paced online action RPG Kurtzbell Bringer of Chaos, which straddles the line between full-on PvE boss battler and competitive PvP dueler. Let's get the fun stuff right out of the way first. This video is sponsored by KOG Games, who is the developer of the game, but this is still entirely a video of my own design. If you want to form your own opinion on Kurtzbell, it's available right now in Steam Early Access for free, which is the correct way to utilize Early Access in my opinion, and a link to download can be found right beneath this video, in the description, or in my pinned comment. Now, I want to talk about two main things in this overview. First, the super quick combat system and how it lends itself quite well to the challenging boss fights in the game, and second, the PvP elements, but primarily, the brand new 18-player survival mode called Cardia Island Shore. In Kurt's Bell, you can bring into battle any combination of two karmas, which are essentially the classes or roles in this game. Some of these prioritize pinpoint range DPS, close quarters interrupts, or specialize in area of effect damage. Each one of these karmas change up the gameplay quite a bit, which is always important to me, and no two classes really felt all that similar to each other. These karmas all have a range of activatable skills, ultimate abilities, and unique combo strings for each, which makes them all feel pretty rewarding to try and master, which I am far from since I just started. With this toolkit at your side, you will be taking on PvE arena-style boss battles that also sometimes have additional waves of adds to wipe out, but primarily the focus is on these tight, intimate fights. The core combat encounters in the game all felt like a MMO-style boss fight to me, just with far more of a focus on quick action rather than skill rotation. I've always been a big fan of the concept of bosses in games ever since I was a kid, since they seem like they require far more nuanced design than your standard cannon fodder style enemies, and I really enjoy the fact that these fights get straight to the point. You queue up, get in, are immediately fighting for your life, you get out by raw defeat or resounding victory, and you queue up to do it all again but against incrementally harder enemies. Not a whole lot of downtime at all in this game, dependent on the matchmaking of course, but you could always just jump in solo, which I found to be just as enjoyable as the team play. I actually never heard of Kurt's Bell back when it came out in April, which is surprising since I usually have my finger on the pulse of the third-person action RPG genre, but taking a stab at it now, months later, I am really surprised by how solid the core fundamentals of the combat system are because they have a super solid base to work with to expand this game into the future. Those PvE battles we just discussed are only one part of the entire experience of Kurtzbell. The PvP duels are also a huge part of this game, but if you're feeling somewhat intimidated by the 2v2 and 3v3 showdowns, you can now jump into the 18-player free-for-all survival mode that was just added in a recent free update. When you queue up for the Cardia Island Shore map, you will be trying to survive to be the last player standing in a constantly shrinking arena. At first glance, you might think just constantly fleeing until one other player is left is the optimal way to play in a game like this, and sure you might win a game or two with that method, but it's not all just about going for the win in this new mode. Going for kills can often progress your character even faster, so players who are playing aggressively, even if they lose, are often coming out ahead compared to players who hide the entire match and try to get that one required kill to win. As soon as I figured this out, the survival mode made a lot more sense to me, and without this vital element, yes, it would result in an endless game of cat and mouse. Knowing when to take on other players one-on-one, -on -one, or jump in at the last second into a group fight to try to take some kills, seemed to be the optimal way to tackle this mode. When it comes down to these player fights, combos and mid-air juggles seem to make for the largest skill gap amongst players, which does make it somewhat daunting to jump right into, but the PvE arenas are the perfect place to train up. The thing is, when juggling an opponent in Kurt's spell, if you allow them to enter knockdown state by touching the ground, they will be immune until they get back up, which requires you to really master your juggle game to be most effective. Something recently added to help players getting too easily comboed from 100 to death is the new quick stand move that allows for a new way to escape from these strings at the cost of a resource point. Huge combos are definitely still there, but you now have a few more escape opportunities in this current meta. Overall, this new survival mode is fairly straightforward, but it does allow for the game's core combat system to stand on its own, and allows for some epic large-scale fights not normally seen in the other modes. Okay. 
And those are my overall impressions of Kurt's Bell, Bringer of Chaos, and a special thanks to KOG Games for not only sponsoring this video, but for also being that little nudge I needed to try this game out, because I am now intrigued to see where it goes in the future as it continues to expand, and hopefully works its way out of early access sooner rather than later. Again, if you want to play Kurt's Bell, check down in the video description or in my pinned comment for a link to the game, which is completely free, so at least try it for yourself if any element of this video looked interesting to you. If you happen to enjoy my style of content, consider subscribing to the channel, ringing that little bell icon if you already are, and following me on Twitter at BoomstickAlex. Lastly, a big thank you to these top supporters who greatly assist with perpetuating the future of Boomstick Gaming, along with today's sponsor as well. As always, this has been Alex, and thanks for watching.